In clinical practice, I think there's, there's very little difference between these epitopes, and I include 217 in that, and it's about the quality of the test that you employ in your, in your trial. Uh, we have several head-to-head -head studies now that showing that if your assay is of high quality and it's, and it's performing well, which epitope you choose is not, not, not the important factor. Now this is, I think, a little bit different when you have no symptoms and you have emerging pathology. Uh, we seem to have some developing evidence that 231 is beginning to increase uh, a little bit earlier than the other epitopes, but it's subtle, but I think it could be meaningful when you're having large uh, population screening. So th they are the subtle differences, and as I just mentioned uh, previously, that 217 I think is a biomarker more specific for Alzheimer's disease pathology. So when you are accumulating this quickly over time, this is the biomarker which will, will, will depict this the most clear.